Welcome back to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to add a chase camera to our ball so as it moves throughout the level we'll be able to follow it and see what's going on. Um, the last two videos I talked about um, global coordinate systems versus local coordinate systems and then the last one I just did vectors and um, gave us a little bit of a, of a basis that we're going to work on uh, for the video today. All right, so the first thing, if I'm going to have a camera, I should probably get it into the level here. So we're going to go to Create, Model, we'll do Camera, we're going to do Simple. Haven't done the one with the headlight, sounds interesting, but not for now. Okay, I'll just call this Chase Cam. Okay, we now have a Chase Camera, let's uh, dump it into the level. Oops, that didn't work out. Let's, call, let's reload the level. One thing that I found that's interesting, and this is a good time to bring it up, you'll see that it still shows that the level is loaded with the green check mark. Uh, that doesn't always ref reflect what's um, actually going on. So um, sometimes it's handy to uh, just go ahead and double click on the level to reload it. Come on. All right, there we go. So the chase cam is in the level. Now I decided just kind of arbitrarily that I was going to stick it 10 units behind the ball. So we know our ball is at zero in the X. We know it's at uh, five on the Y axis. And on the Z axis, it's also zero. But in our case, since we want to be 10 units behind, uh, let's go 10. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but it's that little tiny gray thing down there. Now, um, because I want to be able to access it later, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. And I'm going to go to edit selection tag and we're going to actually call it chase cam within the level so when we need to um, so we need to get to it we can so let's zoom in a little bit just so you can see all right so there we go there's our chase cam there's our ball just because the angle we're at it doesn't look like the, exactly where it should be but we look at the translation and it's it's where it should be so Sometimes perspectives can, can get you. All right, so the next thing I want to do is um, let's go ahead and load it up in the scene. Let's uh, make it the, the main camera. So in order to do that, let's switch over to um, let's switch over to our code tab here. We're going to go to the main AI. And let's go to the on init function because this is something that we want to do as the game is loading up so we've already been loading our ball we've enabled the ball and all that before we do that though let's come in here and let's set our camera so first let's get an, an handle to the object so let's call this H cam uh, we're gonna do the same thing we did for the ball uh, and we're just gonna get the tagged object since we tagged it as chase cam we'll just call that and so the, the command that we use as we go application, um, set current user active camera. So, and you can see that all it's asking for up the top here is a handle to a camera. So we'll throw in H cam. We'll hit save, F7 to compile. And let's go ahead and switch over here and let's run it and see what we get. Uh, yes, we want to save the level. So, and it doesn't look like it did anything. So we have not done something proper. Let's go back to, let's stop this, go back to our code. Let's try to figure out what we got wrong. Uh, again, current user scene, tagged object, chase cam, set current user active camera, H cam. Hmm, there's something that I'm missing here. What can it be? You know, I'm gonna just go ahead and hit Control S, Control S to save again, hit F7 to compile. Sometimes it doesn't quite take for whatever reason. Let's jump back over. Oh, so there we go. All right. So it is, yeah, okay, so it's behind the ball now. So that's where we want the camera to be, but you can see that when we launch the ball, it doesn't follow. So let's go do a little bit more work. Um, I think that's about all we're gonna to need to do in the main AI 
And what's n nice about the way the AI stuff works is that we already have the behavior of the ball. So we're not, we shouldn't have to go into the ball AI and, and change anything. So let's change the functionality of the camera. Let's create an AI model that's called Chase Cam AI. And first thing I'm going to want to do is I like to always provide a handle to the, the actual object that the AI is talking about. So let's do H cam, set it to an object and say OK. And then also, since this is a chase cam, let's create a handle to the target object. OK, click OK. And so then in order to populate those variables, let's create a handler on init. And in this, we're going to say that the HCAM is just the object that this is attached to. So that's get object. And then for the ball uh, or the target, we're going to make that the ball. So let's uh, use our handy application get tagged object and get the ball. 